Hello and welcome back. In this quick video, I am going to show you how to edit the slug for pages within a WordPress website. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the settings tab and then click onto permalinks. This is the settings for editing the structure of your URL for your WordPress website pages. So first we have common settings. We have six options here. Now this is the URL structure. So first of all, we have the main domain name, of course, that is blackbricktraining.co.uk. And the parts after that is what this will edit. So for plain, you will just have the page ID. For day and name, you have the date and then the name of the page. For month and name, you have the year and month and then the name of the page. For numeric, you have the archives and then the number for the page. I would always avoid this one. And then for post name, which is the most popular, it is just your domain forward slash the name of your page or post. So let's say I have written a blog post titled What is SEO? The URL for that will be blackbricktraining.co.uk forward slash what is SEO if I select this one just here. And then finally, we have a custom structure. For this, you have once again the domain followed by slash blog because all of my additional pages on my website are blog posts. And then we have the post name. This is my favorite, so you can choose this if you want, but I recommend you should choose post name. So it is your domain followed by the name of your page or post which you are creating the slug for. Below this, you have some more options. This is if you want to edit the slug for categories, tags, project categories or projects. As you can see, it says, if you like, you may enter custom structures for your category and tag URLs. For example, using topics as your tag base would make your category links on your website look like this. So you would have the main domain forward slash topics as that is the base. Just like on my custom structure, I have blog as my base forward slash the name of the category. But you can leave all of this blank right now. So I would select post name or create a custom structure. And then once you've done that, click save. To create a custom structure like this, you simply want to add your structure and then click on whatever you want to add after that. As you can see, I just have post name. So then click save. And then you want to go to the product or page or project or post that you want to edit the slug for. If you're confused, just select post name and then click save and then let's go to the next step. So now we're going to go to a page on my website. We are going to go to the Black Brick Agency page right here and click edit. And then as you can see just here, we have the permalink. Now just here, you can click edit and this is how you'll edit the slug for your page. Now remember, the permalink and the slug is pretty much the same thing. So don't get confused because of it saying permalink. So simply type in the slug for your page. Remember to only use lowercase letters. And if you use multiple words, you want to separate them using dashes. So say for example, I'm going to call it Black Brick Agency. Black Brick is a brand, so it's one word, dash agency, and then click OK. And once you are happy with it, you will click update or publish to save and publish the page, product, post, whatever it is, that you are changing the slug for. Now remember, this will work the same whether it is a page or even a product. So don't get confused because of me being on a page. You can also go to a blog post or a project and edit it the exact same way. Just remember to click the publish or update button on the right just here. And that is all you need to do. You have now successfully edited a slug for your WordPress website. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.